Let's get into it. Soul Not For Sale podcast, Joe Rogan, Tony Hinchcliffe, and they're talking about Trump again, and they're talking about Rosie O'Donnell, because she had some choice words for Donald Trump. Now, what connection do they have nowadays? He's not the president. She's not relevant. They have no connection. But still, she finds a way to make her days that are ruined all Trump's fault, as most people with TDS do. Let's get into it. <laughs> do not forget, but I am CoachCollin.com. We got Soul Not For Sale. We got Public Enemy Number One. Discount code is I am Coach Colin. All capital letters, all one word, one L in the name Colin. Let's get into this clip. Supposedly to the military that wants to do things and he wants to bring them back, which he's proven time and time again. And like, I don't know. There's a fucking hilarious video of Rosie O'Donnell. Mm -hmm. She put up like she was watching the UFC. She goes, I'm watching the UFC and then Trump comes on and ruins it. Come on, UFC. You got to do better. Oh, <laughs> thank so you. Bad. Thank you, Rosie. <laughs> they so all care. Bad. Everyone at the UFC cares about your but opinion. It's so not much. just having that opinion, which is like, I get it. Because he said a lot of like fucked up things about Rosie. Oh, he ruined her. She's yeah. Gone, yeah. Because of him. when Megyn Kelly was saying that yeah. you've said all these disparaging things about not all women, just Rosie O'Donnell. Boom, boom. She was done. It's like a comic. Yeah. I mean, it's like a, it's like literally a kill, kill Tony guest. Yeah. Um, but have you found the video of her saying it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I listened to it. I think it's this one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Ugh, look Play at her. It. I like Rosie. All you racist MAGA people. No, no, this is killing it. cover. No, that's not it. Uh, it's I mean, it's to that so unless maybe she deleted it or she might have deleted yeah. it she might have deleted it that was a hard one man because Leon at the end of the fight when he's talking about his dad and he, like he, he was almost crying when he was talking about him you know taking his father's murder and turning it into entertainment and you know, his voice was cracking I was like oh shit don't make me cry Leon yeah <sighs> yeah Ugh, Trump just arrived at the UFC 296 because <laughs> he loves Colby Covington Donald Trump's the biggest gang Jay Z. <laughs> It was the UFC, do better. I love that. I got the whole clip. I'll play it for you after we're done. Let's go. Why did they all look alike? Why do all these pe Why does she look exactly like Keith Olbermann? She doesn't. Keith, o Keith Olbermann's way more insane than her. He's insane. Did you see Keith Olbermann went after Riley Gaines? Who's Riley Gaines? Riley about? Gaines is that lady that lost to Leah Thomas. or th The one who, yeah. Oh, wow. So she's the real, like, winner. Female yeah. winner, yeah, and this male competes as a female and 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 beats her, and and so Keith Oberman said some ridiculous shit about she doesn't have any athletic accomplishments, and so she makes a video in response showing all the awards that she's won, yeah, <laughs> like she's like a serious fucking accomplished yeah. athlete, she's an amazing athlete, but for this insane fuck to say this, but you got to see the video because it's fall pretty from amazing. Grace. He used to be so long ago, but he was part of that essential. Sports Center crew, yeah. the glory days of ESPN. Him, Stuart Scott. He was great. Uh, hand, Dan did. Patrick. It, it was a dream team. And I would love to know what fucking soup he's been eating or what is in his diet. Oh, or he's vegan. Oh, is he? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. There's, that, there's something clearly. Explains. Sometimes clearly there's things where it's wrong. like, sometimes there's just things where it's like, don't you see? Don't yeah. you see? Yeah, duh. You know, a big one. And I know we're switching subjects here, but a big one that I saw two days ago, and I didn't even send it to you because I'm like, uh, I, I can't even, I have to talk with you about this, is Canada's overall life expectancy. Yes. It might be the craziest statistic in the world right now. You've seen this, right? Yes. Since 1930, of course, it goes this way, this way, this way, this way, because you fucking live longer because fucking technology and medicine. And then 2020 it levels, and then it starts to go down. It's down two and a half years since 2020, which is unheard of. Yeah. Unprecedented. What could that possibly be from? I don't know, Tony. Weird. I, don't, I have no idea. I have no idea what that could be. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, could be anything. Could be anything. I don't know. Cold. Cold, no? Winter. Winter, maybe. I think it's winter. It's probably winter. It probably has nothing to do with anything else, right? Uh, <laughs> but like I told you, I got that whole cl uh, that whole clip of Rosie O'Donnell because why not? But yeah, she's one of those people. I didn't realize how deranged she got from what Trump did to her, you know. But that's what Trump will do, man. He'll put a hurting on you. 
you want to get in his way, here's the whole clip. Ugh, Trump just arrived at the UFC 296 because he loves Colby Covington. And Leon Edwards, I hope, is going to smash his face in because I can't stand Colby Covington and I can't stand Donald Trump. And the one thing I hate about the UFC is that he ruins it every time he shows up. I mean, come on, Dana White, you got to do better. Really? Really? Ugh, Trump. Bro, she doesn't even watch the UFC. How much do you want to bet? How much do you want to bet she just knows that Trump goes out and he's getting these crazy standing ovations and she's just like, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to make a video about this. I'm tired of this. This is not nah, 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 nah. absolutely ridiculous. And then on top of that, to say that Trump ruins, <laughs> he ruins the UFC. He literally walks out and says, hey, hey, everybody, shakes Joe Rogan's hand. Maybe he brings Tucker Carlson, says hi to people, shakes some more hands and sits down. That's it. And then he just sits there and watches. She's talking as if he wa he barges into the UFC <laughs> he goes into the octagon he starts slapping the fighters around pushes them on the ground starts peeing everywhere like he doesn't do anything to ruin the ufc it's absolutely ridiculous he's never ruined a fight in his life obviously but it's a uh, very interesting i again i didn't know how far it went with her here's here's another quick clip like again i was just looking into finding that clip and then i found this and i'm like oh she's like really deep like worse than bill maher because at least bill maher is relevant so she's just doing this as a, a person who's not relevant very interesting donald thank you for being on cuomo primetime thanks for having me chris so you're down there in the nation's capital it's being billed as a party with a purpose what is the purpose the purpose is to remind people of the truth that lives inside them so when they're, when they're so confused and lied to by our president and this administration they're able to find that thing about america that they love and that's true and that's real and remember that feeling and hold on to that feeling as we go through these next very tumultuous weeks is it just good vibes that you're spreading there or do you have a message of what you want to happen with this president well, I think most of America wants him to be out, although you can't tell that from reading some of the, you know, watching Fox News or whatnot, which is just like state-run TV in Russia at this point. Uh, we have to fight with everything we got, because if somehow they're able to rig the elections again, as I believe they did in 2016, then uh, we're going to all be in trouble as democracy dies right here on our watch. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I thought you weren't supposed to say that. You're not supposed to talk about elections like that. Isn't that like I, I know right now on this platform, I'm not allowed to talk about that. She's allowed to talk about that. Interesting. It seems like a few years ago you were allowed to talk about that. But now you're not allowed to. Before it was possible. Now it's not possible. I understand because I've been reading the book 1984. So I understand perfectly now. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> no, no problem. I don't want to be vaporized. So I'll just not talk about it. But they could talk about it. They're part of the inner party. And we're the, what are they called? The the plubs? The plebs? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I had no idea she was in that deep. Really, really no idea. Let's go into the last thing that I have to say about this whole thing. Joe Rogan and, uh, and Tony Hinchcliffe talking about Rosie O'Donnell looking like Keith Oberman. And, you know, Tony's usually pretty on point when he says things like that. And Joe's just like, nah, she doesn't. He just he kind of cut it off kind of abruptly. You see that? Nah, she doesn't. Nah, she doesn't. But she does. But she does. But she does. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. And, and, and on top of that, I had no idea she even looked like that now. I'm still living like, I'm still living like as a kid where she had brown hair and she was just, a lady just he's still a lady but you know you know what i mean didn't look like keith that's all very interesting <laughs> very interesting stuff but the last thing i have to talk about when it comes to this 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 uh clip that i just played let me go back to this really quick if you can't tell that this whole thing 
these people are so captured. If you can't tell by looking into these faces, into by looking into these eyes, how captured these people are. Look at him asking the question, like a clearly a prompted question. Is it just good vibes you are spreading or is there a message? She's like, there is a message. The message is this. Like, I can't believe people watch this type of stuff and they're like, this is news. This is news. This is my news. This is what I need to take in for the day. I need to understand what these people are talking about. I'm very glad he had her on the show and that he asked some hard-hitting questions. She's doing some great stuff. I can't believe people actually, it's so, it's so wild to me. Like, look at them. They almost look like they're in a trance. Look at them. Do you have a message? And she's just sitting there dead-eyed, just dead in her eyes. And she's like, I do have a message. Absolutely wild, man. Absolutely wild. I'm telling you, man, agencies, which will go unnamed, politics, media, Hollywood, all of them go hand in hand. And all of them get their marching orders from the first thing I just said. All of I'm convinced. I'm convinced. You couldn't convince me otherwise. You couldn't. You couldn't. Man, absolutely wild. But let me know what you think in the comments. I just wanted to play that full clip for you. Rosie O'Donnell, very upset watching the UFC because the, she she seems like she watches the UFC, right? She seems like she's really into Leon Edwards. It seems like she knows who that person is, right? I doubt it. I by I, I, I bet this is what she actually knows. Colby Covered Covington likes Donald Trump and he supports Donald Trump. And she doesn't like Donald Trump. And then she probably found out that Donald Trump goes to the actual place. And that gave her her whole problem. Ima imagine Rosie O'Donnell paying for a, a pay-per-view event and watching it. That's not happening. It's just not happening. Not going to convince me. Anyways, guys, <laughs> share, share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps tremendously. You have no idea. And other than that, I am out.